to give a big shout out to Derek's horror stuff, all right? Hey. Go visit that and then bounce over to Jason 2 Warrington Gillette on Instagram. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Derek from Derek's Horror Stuff, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you on a journey with me through Monster Mania Con 49 in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, so stay tuned. Screen. All right, so this was uh, kind of an, an unprecedented event, and uh, we actually left the convention early today, which is Saturday. And uh, we usually don't do that. We usually go on Saturday and get all the autographs, and Sunday we finish up and get what we need. Um, but yeah, we left today. It was actually it was so crowded. And it was just like a, kind of like a sensory overload. So um, my wife and I decided that we would take the shuttle back, maybe go grab something to eat, grab a coffee, and uh, see where it takes us. I can help you. 
Hey, can I get a large iced coffee, please, with caramel, um, cream, and liquid sugar, and uh, cold foam, please? Large ice, cream, sugar, caramel, and liquid sugar. Uh, well, a large iced coffee with um, caramel and cream. This is wrong. The order is right, but it tastes wrong. I'm gonna drink it anyway. We're gonna try to stop back there uh, closer to 9 p.m. because that's when they're gonna be doing a cosplay contest. So we're gonna see if we can get in on that at all and hopefully get these guests uh, tomorrow early in the day if possible, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we just got done with the first day of Monster Mania. Like I said, we didn't really do too much, uh, but we did decide we were going to leave for a little bit after we hit the vendors and come back um, for the um, cosplay contest. The cosplay contest. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so we came back for the cosplay contest. We saw a drunk a lady time. fall off the stage. And a drunk lady fell off the stage. Okay, just looks like a regular tampon. Regular old tampon, maybe a little big, but regular tampon. And then. Maybe a little bit, a little bit. The what? I remember nice house poured up. Pick it up, pick it up. Booze tube. You just pop it off? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's tequila. <laughs> 
Oh, now my amp's good enough for you. Uh, I don't like amp. Woo! Made it to Monster Mania, waiting for the shuttle. And uh, when that gets here, we'll make our way down. First time or uh, you, you come and before? We've been here before. Ah, it's good. Yeah. So this is where I have to talk to you guys for a second. Uh, when I went in this year, I brought my new setup, I brought my new camera, I'm ready to roll, and I said, you know what, this year I'm gonna take YouTube a little bit more seriously. So instead of sneaking the videos and the pictures on my cell phone like I normally do, I'm gonna go up to these guys and I'm gonna say, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I'm documenting the event for the channel. Uh, if you guys don't mind, can I film over here? Can I ask you a couple questions? Blah, blah, blah. However, that's not the way that this went. Um, this was my first guest that I saw today and I decided that I was going to ask them, but I told my wife to keep filming in the background while I did. So this is completely my mistake. I should have asked Derek Mears if I could film him first, but I didn't and I got the reaction that you would expect. So uh, just something to know, it's very important to ask people for their permission when you film at these events. After the camera was shut off, when it was our turn, I went up there and I, you know, I apologized to Derek. I said, hey man, you know, we're just filming a video. I apologize. I should have asked first and he pretty much explained hey you know it's cool it's just I don't like being filmed because I feel like I'm like an animal in a petting zoo in this sort of situation uh, nobody likes a camera in their face and I do understand that and he also mentioned that a lot of people get filmed and then they manipulate the uh, footage and they end up saying something that they didn't actually say out of context and blah 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 so it was this whole big thing uh, which could have been avoided by me asking for permission first and after that long conversation he did give us permission to film well he signed Pleasure to meet Appreciate you. It. Pleasure you. meeting you, my love. All right, have fun. Thank you. So the next person we ended up meeting was Warrington Gillette from Friday the 13th Part 2. He played Jason, and he ended up being really, really cool. I asked him, I asked his handler straight up if we could film, and uh, I knew that he had an Instagram channel that he was promoting to everyone in front of me, so I said, hey man, this is a good time to promote your Instagram channel, your new movie you're working on, and maybe give me a shout out. Let's do something, let's work something out. And hey, guess what, we did. Wow. Well, we're getting there. You're getting there. So you tell me when to do the shout out. Okay. Um, I think what does, this, does best on this is the black. It's really consistent. Oh man. The black. Piece of art is balanced because you got it like this. Yeah, I like it. So I'll take it on the chin. Yeah, take it on the chin. I'll take it on the chin. That's it. And you can't smudge this because it instantly dries. <laughs> Jason, too. We're halfway there. You got a steady hand. Here. 
See, that steps it up a little bit. And I know you have all an right. Instagram. Yes, I do, and all my friends and fans, they follow us. And it is Jason to Warrington Gillette, and I make promos for every convention I go to. And then you can keep up with us, and then you can check out this new movie I'm producing called Bloody Social. And the website on that is bloodysocialmovie.com. And it's a dramatic thriller set in Palm Beach, Florida. I kill for daddy. <laughs> Derek's horror stuff. What is it called? Derek's horror stuff. Okay. What you... Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna give a big shout out to Derek's horror stuff. All right. Hey. Go visit that, and then bounce over to Jason to Warrington. So let on Instagram. Thanks so much, man. Next, we went to see Ray Santiago, who played Pablo in Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Ray had a sign up on his table that said no candid photos, so I knew not to attempt to do anything there. They were actually very strict, there were people all over waiting for you to pull your phone out, is at least what it seemed like. He didn't mess around. And our last stop of the day was Dana DeLorenzo, who played Kelly in Ash vs. Evil Dead. She also was the same way, where it didn't seem likely that I would be able to take any video there. In fact, I asked my wife to take a picture of me getting this signed, at least as some sort of proof, because I like to have proof that these people sign my items. However, unfortunately, she got turned down as well when the crew came by and made her stop recording. So is this going to go into the chainsaw? Yeah, I actually bought a chainsaw. Oh, awesome. One of the, uh, like, of the original. Awesome. You know what, baby? It's okay. Don't worry. Yeah. It's, I'll, be, I'll be able to make it work. All right. So, where shall I sign it, my friend? you got to tell me because I can't. I can't. Fuck your life! Bing bong! Now at this point we're a little bit distraught, we're walking around the con, and I come across this awesome dude whose name is Halloween Year Round. Halloween Year Round! Oh, what's up man, how's it going? Well, as a matter of fact, that's not his real name, that's his YouTube channel name. So go over to YouTube and subscribe to his channel, check him out, awesome dude. And that about sums it up, guys. I wanted to give you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly of this con. I realized I always make videos where I just pick apart the best pieces and I show you guys what's going on, but I wanted to show you the real deal experience. Today, we met some really cool people and we also learned some valuable lessons. Now, if you guys made it this far, please remember to hit that subscribe button on your way out, hit that like button, and leave a comment below letting me know what you thought. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Why would I ever need a video of this motel? I don't know, but I'm gonna take it anyway.